we're going to talk about expanding the canvas. There are some times when you're doing your painting that you want to be able to pull the color and the line out off the edge and also pull the edge in to, to make the shape of the picture represent what you want to show in the image not necessarily just straight edges but to do that you have to expand the canvas so that you have uh, an area to work with around the image so the way we do that is we go on up to image we come down to canvas size and you get this dialog box now there are two different ways to use this you see this little check mark here if you check click that you can actually go in here and change the actual dimensions of the image. But what we want to do, so we'll click the relative, what we want to do is just add a border. So I'm just going to click here and I'm going to type in 4. And that's going to give me a 4 inch border all the way around. Now before you click it, you want to come down here. There are different colors that you can end up with. You want to make sure that you have white selected. And then you just click OK. And now we have a white border around our image. And what this is going to allow us to do is to, to work the white in and out of the image. So if I go on up, and you have to use a cloning tool, so you want to go up to the cloning tool, I mean the mixing tool, I'm sorry, you have to use the mixing brush. Click on the mixing brush. I want to go on over here to layers. Now we could do this right on the image, but I don't recommend it because if you screw up, you're in deep so what we do is we just come down here and click on this little turn on a piece of paper to make a new layer. You can also go on up here to layers and make it up here too. But that's how I choose to do it. I click down here. Now this is the layer we're going to work on. So it has to be active. That's why it's blue. And now we're just going to take our brush. I'm going to increase the size of the brush. You, you can use any brush to do this with you. You have to experiment figure out which brush you prefer. Now I'm using a big brush because I want to really pull this out. Down here I want to pull it in a little bit because I, I, I want to round off this corner. I can pull that back out and come up around here. And now I want to maintain that little bit of blue there. In fact I might want to accentuate it. So I'm going to pull the blue out. And it's come down here and again I'm going to round this corner off. Now this brush down here is not very interesting, so I'm going to pull in some of the white there. And then come back around. Now I want to get as much of the path in there as possible, so I'm actually going to pull some of the path out so I have it to work with later. Now I'm going to come around. And that's what we need this white space for. It allows us to do that. Now I'm going to show you how I process the rest of the image, but this is mainly what the tutorial was about, is how to make this white space and why you might want to do it. So here's another one that I did, a little different border, um, but I've pulled out the border. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go in and break down all the rest of the detail in the image. I don't want any recognizable photographic detail and I'm used the brush to create some whimsical interesting shapes have fun with the strokes okay now I'm going to start to bring the detail back into the image and I brought in the path because that's what I want the emphasis and I brought in the corner of the boat and uh, that's where I want the eye to go is like that so I'm bringing the eye in out of this corner and leading it up to there I'm not bringing any detail back in these other areas now I'm going to go in and add my textures and overlays nope sorry tonal adjustment came next so I pop the tonal up to put the higher values here give the picture more power and then I added my textures and blends and I made the picture much bluer because I wanted it to feel cold like the winter time I didn't want to have a lot of yellow in there and then the final step was just to add my name and I was all done but this is a if you want to get this look, you have to expand the canvas to be able to do it because you've got to be able to pull white in from the outside and push the color to the outside. Well, I hope you find this helpful.